The Prime Minister has ordered federal police to investigate a mystery email which is threatening his career. I'm unaware of any representations being made on behalf of this individual. If the Prime Minister cannot justify his actions, he has no choice but to resign. The individual is John Grant, the Ipswich car dealer and neighbour of Kevin Rudd, who supplied a rusty ute for his electorate. My recollection may well be totally false, faulty. Judy Moran is accustomed to drama, normally as the victim. Now she takes centre stage as the alleged villain, dressed in black. If you were a script writer and sat down and wrote this sort of stuff, you'd probably say, oh no, look, it's a bit far-fetched, no one would believe it. Four shots uh, in succession with a pause in between the third and the fourth shot. How do you feel, Judy? How do you feel? I am satisfied that this murder is not connected not connected to the gangland murders. I knew it was going to happen. I spoke to someone who was bodyguarding for Tuppence the other week and that, and he was saying there's a bit of drama going down. Iran's disputed election has turned deadly. Soldiers loyal to President Ahmadinejad opened fire on protesters. There must be a fraud in a, in a result of the election. I want to know where is my vote? This election in Iran is a big liar of century. The world community has a real challenge on its hands with Mr. Ahmadinejad's re-election. Protesters are mad because their candidate lost, he says. They're emotional and upset. But the election is over. I don't like people breaking the law. Certainly the demonstrations we're seeing now are the biggest for 30 years. He's not our person. We hate him. We hate him. This has actually just been released seconds ago. Yeah. Rove McManus and Tasma Walton have actually gotten married. They got married on June 16 on a private ceremony in Broome in Western Australia. The couple was surrounded by close friends and family for the service, we're told. Tasma reportedly proposed after asking Rove's mother for her blessing. It's Rove's second marriage after losing first wife Belinda Emmett to cancer in 2006. Hey. Get out of here. That's the most persistent fly I've ever seen. Nice. Now, where were we? The president was doing a TV interview and a fly landed on him. Do you want to get sort of a splattered fly on your hand, though? Yeah, I I'll wouldn't want to touch you. it. No. I'd want to spot it with something. Yeah. I think the hand's the most effective, though. Mm. And you really got to just, just let the fly know that you're actually not going to hit it, not going to hit it, and whack. Can I say that the thing that impressed me most was at the end of it, he gets a tissue and he picks up the dead fly and he takes it with him, puts it in a bin on the way out. Sunrise returns tomorrow from 6am.